Dear Calendar Girl, I finally made partner after three years. Let's just say I took the easy route. You know the saying, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do, right? If that meant keeping the company of my boss and my boss's boss, then so be it. However, both of them are tiresome, but there are perks to this lifestyle, you see. Right now, I'm relishing the breathtaking view of San Myshuno's Bay Area from my corner office on the 80th floor as a reminder of my years of sacrifice. By any means necessary is my daily devotional. But I digress, Calendar Girl. My dilemma is simple. For the past hour, I have been eyeing a manila envelope given to me earlier today, contents including two sets of keys and a note. The empty one bedroom penthouse is yours. Furnish it to your liking. Here's the deed and the keys to both the apartment and the white Aston Martin parked in the garage. <laughs> I'm at an impasse. I'm bored, desperately and unequivocally bored. I don't know how much longer I can deal with the monotony of it all. Or maybe I'm feeling slightly guilty. Could be the takeout. Either way, perhaps you can assist. Sincerely, easily bought. Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, first off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back. This is another episode of Calendar Girl. And if you guys missed the first episode, please go back and watch it. I really want you to come along with me and Harmony. Um, follow her along in her little journey uh, as a writer and a freelance columnist for the online magazine Simlish. Uh, Simlish is based in my Shuno, Sam my Shuno, so that's why she is here in her little apartment. And oh, she's just finished her first book. Awesome. Uh, that is, I guess, one of her achievements. What is it? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, here it is. So she needed to write two books. I guess she did write two books already. Okay. Um, so her next level, she needs to have written for 15 hours and write five good books. So that's going to take us a while. But let's take a look at her. Oh, she's cooking. Oh, my gosh. You can see there's been some changes to her apartment. Uh, let's watch her cook because she will burn down a house. Her cooking skill is minimal. Yeah, it's still at a one. But Harmony is determined to meet someone, and she knows that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. At least that's what her mother has always told her. So she went and bought a few kitchen utensils. She's not much of a cook, but she can always make like she can cook. Um, and how she does that is, you know, put a few things out like she's a gourmet chef. But we all know that the only thing Harmony can do is order takeout. But uh, she's not ashamed of that either. There's nothing wrong with that. She's a busy woman. She's a busy woman. But she did unpack a few of her boxes. There's still boxes here. It's coming along slowly but surely. And she did hang up a few pictures, some of her favorite artwork over here. And she's got some, you know, sitting over in the corner. She hasn't decided what she's going to do with this. Uh, it might be a little too large to hang up in the kitchen because she doesn't have much of a kitchen. So who knows, maybe she'll sell it at the thrift store. Uh, but she's got her plants. Harmony loves plants. Uh, she did pick up a few more at the flea market out in the, um, the I guess you would call it the center of San Myshuno. I don't know what you call that, the pavilion. Um, so she made sure she did that. That's kind of her way of making her place her own is to make sure she always has plants and her favorite artwork hanging up. Very much like me, I definitely like to have, uh, or at least the first thing I like to do when I move into a new place is hang up a piece of artwork to kind of make it my own. 
All right, so she's done eating. We're going to clean up. It's a little late. It's Friday. Oh, yeah. yeah it's very late. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. She's got to get up fairly early. It's a little too late for her to be going out. So uh, we will have her hit the hay and check back with her in the morning. Oh, it looks like her social is down. So we definitely need to work on that today. But before we go out... Um, she needs to find a gig because I don't think I have one. I thought I picked one um, in the last episode, but I guess I didn't. So I guess we're just going to go through this and see what we can grab. I d I'm pretty sure this means that our level isn't high enough. Our writing skill isn't high enough. So let's see if we can grab something that would suit her writing skill and get her some simoleons. All right, so we do have this one here, brand new fantasy story idea. She's currently writing a fantasy story or just did? Um, is there anything else? That one looks like it's paying the most. Uh, what was that? Where was the fantasy? No, this one is, okay. Well, it's a fantasy series. Write for a famous fantasy series. It pays uh, 2,510 simoleons due by Monday, 9 a.m. So she has all weekend to get this done. That might need to be good because she definitely wants to be able to enjoy her weekend, but she's on the grind. So she needs to go ahead and get this, take this gig. All right, but before we do that... Um, she did find out from her new friend, Dosi, that there is this little place called The Quad uh, that people in San Mishuno like to hang out at. So she's going to go and check that out. She's really enjoying the radio. She likes to dance for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why, but we probably should have her hit up a club at some point since she likes to get down but we're gonna go ahead and check out the quad and see if we can meet some folks all right then go on with your bad self <laughs> see if we can go ahead and meet some people okay the quad looks actually really cool i don't remember whose bill this is so please don't ask me <laughs> i can definitely if you want to know i can definitely find out uh who i downloaded this from but this is from the gallery I thought this was really, really cool. And she decided, Harmony decided to ask uh, her friend Dosi and, uh, well, I should say acquaintances because she's not really friends with him yet. But Dosi and Meche, um, let's just have a look around. Looks like there's a couple places to eat here, I think. I don't know. I'm not really sure what's going on here. So I don't know if this is actually a place we can eat, maybe. There's a bar here, so we can hire a mixologist. Can we go shopping? There's some shopping here, it looks like. Um, I don't think we can actually go shopping, but right now, it doesn't really look like there's a lot of folks here, so Dosi might have given us some wrong information. Um, she might have lost some cool points with us because there's nobody here but us. Nobody here, but it looks like Harmony did make herself comfortable. Um, this looks like a little like reading area, but I mean, girl, there's nobody here, so maybe we shouldn't get this comfortable. Where is everybody? I, I guess our friends left us. Can we blame them? Oh, this is cute. It's a little chapel. Where'd they go? They okay, Dosie's out here. I think Dosie's trying to make a phone call. She's like, girl. <laughs> Whoever she's talking to, she's like, where is everybody? Uh, this place is desolate. I mean, it's beautiful, but there's nobody here. Absolutely no one. Um, and uh, Meche left. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and come and talk to Dosi and let her know that uh, she failed. This was a failed mission. Um, we need to... We're on a mission to meet some people. Um, and, oh, there's Meche over there. And uh, you, you have one job, one job, 
and you messed up. All right, so we decided to go ahead and thug it out and go to the karaoke bar. Um, and lo and behold, when we got here, there was young, handsome Cairo. We did see him at George's before, and uh, Harmony went ahead and introduced herself. She couldn't help, her, help it, even though she's not feeling very confident because of her little breakout. She's still going to... Um, Take the chance and maybe, you know, at least meet a new friend. Um, Meche, though, she's blocking. I mean, we didn't ask Meche to join the conversation. This was an A and B. See yourself out. Come on, Meche. Fine, whatever. She's not going to leave. But maybe she can be our wingman while she's here. So let's let's get to know Cairo a little bit. Um <clears throat> Let's ask if he's single. I mean, that's definitely going to be one of our first questions because we don't want to flirt and waste our time. Um, and the guy has a girlfriend or he's married. I don't see a ring, but we know how the Sims, the Sims can play us. Okay, he's single. He is very single. So he is definitely a potential. Oh, don't walk away, sir. Do not walk away. Um, he's going to go order a drink, maybe. Oh, the, it's okay. There's a few more people here. This might be a spot that we can hang out. Uh, Cairo, sir, please don't walk away. We uh, we don't want to steal from him. Let's get to know Cairo a little bit better. I do like your outfit. Let's stop talking to Meche and come over here and talk to Cairo. He's waiting. Girl. He's waiting. Um, let's see. Let's, let's, uh, oh, he's a perfectionist. Okay, that, that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. I don't know. Um, he doesn't seem to really want to talk to us right now, but let's, uh, let's not leave our girl hanging though. She did come out to uh, come out with us. So let's, let's complain about the acne and, uh, wait a minute. Hello. <laughs> wow, who is he? Enrique? Oh yeah. Let's um <clears throat> make our way over here to <laughs> talk to Enrique. We are so bad. Can we can we introduce ourselves? Is he busy? Can we not? Uh let's just watch him then. Oh, he's got kind of a nice voice. It's not bad. And he's handsome. And he's just... Oh, is this his dog? Oh my gosh. His dog is so cute. His dog is named Fergus. Anybody, look. Anybody knows a man and a dog is like... <laughs> that's a magnet. Look at Meiji's over here like, oh my gosh, what a cutie. Wait, wait, wait. Introduce yourself. Friendly introduction. Oh, she's such a player. This is not, oh, this is not a way to make a good reputation. And Cairo's standing right over here. He's like, well, look, he just checked out Dosi. So, I mean, it doesn't even matter. What are you doing? Come over here and sit next to him. Don't... How are you having a full-blown conversation with him sitting way over here? <laughs> Did he just... <laughs> the Sims. <laughs> the Sims. What are we doing? Oh, is he a pilot? Is that what he's saying? He, oh, he likes to travel. He likes to travel. Let's uh, get to know him. Let's see what... Uh, Let's see what he does for a living. Ask about his career. Is he leaving? Girl, take... Where's he going? He's leaving. What are you doing? You're letting him leave. You're missing out. Okay. Well, he's gone. Okay. That's fine. Cairo's still here. <laughs> I think. Cairo's gone. At least we've got their numbers. We can, uh, we can chat them up later. 
oh, here's a here's a guy that has a job. He's dressed up nice. He's kind of cute. Who are you, sir? Let me. I have to uh, <clears throat> check you out. Who are you? He has no name. I guess he's just the post guy. Can we introduce ourselves? He has no name. Go stop eating. You can eat later. You have um, people to meet. Okay. Fergus is still here. Oh, look at him. Oh, forget the postman. Come and talk to Fergus. Oh, no. Don't be mean to him. Can we can we talk to him? How are we... That's the only option I have is to be mean. Oh, he left. Oh, he looks so cute. I am a sucker for a dog. Oh, there's Cairo. Let's uh, brighten Cairo's day. We've got to get to know him. What's he blushing about? What's going on with him? Oh, okay. We're going to take this outside. Oh, he's feeling extremely flirty. That's a good thing. I mean, who made you flirty? Was it me? I mean, was it Harmony? Oh, there's a lot of potential in this town, guys. Did you see him? What's his name? Jul Julian Voss? Woo, okay. There are a lot of potentials in this town. We could get into some trouble here. But let's just take one or two at a time. Small bites, small bites. If not, if it doesn't work out with Cairo, we can always fix them up with one of our friends. I mean, Meche is a good catch. Hey, there's our guy from uh, George. I think he's he's married, though. I don't know. But we did see him with some some girl. Okay, Meche is really trying to get our attention. And um, <laughs> I should just tell her to go away. Oh, look at all the nice looking men in this town. I think we made a great decision coming to say much, you know. <laughs> We're back at the apartment. And I mean... If anything, this was a stellar night. It's It was Friday, so I guess everyone was getting off of work and checking out happy hour. And the girls indeed meet a few fellas. Um, I guess Tati is, or Tati, wow, wrong. Harmony is going to um, whip up something to eat and just recap the night. Like, you guys, did you see all the, the all the beautiful men? What have you guys been doing? You've been living here all this time, and you haven't met. How, really, how rude is that to make something for yourself and, and not offer anything to anyone else? That is super rude. Dosie's like, you're going to, you're going to share? Are you just going to make eggs for yourself? Are those eggs? Are these eggs? Mac and cheese. <laughs> that looks like eggs. <laughs> it really looks like eggs. That does not look like mac and cheese. But um, Harmony's like, I can't cook. So I didn't want to. Uh, I didn't want to make you both suffer through my um, my lack of culinary skills. Meche is like, I don't care, girl. I had a good time. I'm hyped. I got some numbers. Um. I can't wait to um, go out on my first date. I haven't had some, uh, I haven't had any dates in a while. It's been dry season. <laughs> but um, Harmony, I guess, is going to be a great addition to their little crew. And Dosi definitely needs her friendship because um, from what Harmony's discovered about her, she is a homebody. She's not very social. Um, and she's kind of shy. So this will be a great opportunity for Harmony to play matchmaker. But um, Harmony is going to discuss Cairo with, um, with, uh, uh, what's her name? Meche? Let's see. Ask her what she thought about Cairo because she was there. Maybe we can ask her uh, about um, Enrique too. Where is that at? I just had it. What a genius. 
Um, ask about another Sim. Yeah, let's ask her about Mr. Rossi. What does she say? She says she likes Cairo. He's pretty cool. I wonder if she's interested in him as well because she seemed to hang around uh, when she was talking to Cairo. So maybe Meche has some interest in him. We need to make sure because we definitely don't want to start a friendship friendship off on the wrong foot if she has if she's expressing some sort of interest. Um, okay, so she didn't meet Enrique, so maybe uh, maybe we should leave Cairo be and try to focus on Mr. Rossi instead. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I did did Dosi Dosi's not worried about this conversation at all. She's over here playing video games. This is what I mean about her being unsociable. But, I mean, we need to get her out of her shell. We really do. All right. So, Tati. Tati. Why do I keep calling her Tati? That's a sign. Harmony is off to bed. That's a sign for us to end it right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Calendar Girl. If you did, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, I'd like to know, do you think that Harmony should try to pursue Cairo or Enrique? I know it seems that Meche might be interested in Cairo, but let me know what you think. I'd really like to know in the comments. But before I let you go, I'd love for you to become a member of the family if you haven't already considered. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do upload at least three times a week. Also, don't forget to share. That would be awesome for the channel because we love to see growth. And until next time, guys, ciao. Dear Easily Bought, congratulations on your recent success. Ambitions can be the determining factor in whether you're living or just existing. However, I tend to believe that it's the path we choose to attain said goals that matters the most. I don't know the background story of either man in your life. However, I do know they are people, and people tend to have feelings. Messy, complicated feelings. I am curious about some particulars. Are they married? Do they have children? These are relevant details you failed to mention, so I can only speculate. They both may have contrasting reasons why they're involved with you, and I won't pretend I have insight on their personal lives. That brings me to another question. Do they know about each other? While I sit here hypothesizing with hopes that I can provide the best advice for your situation, if you should settle for boss A or B. Ultimately, those decisions belong to you, but I have one more question, and it's my last, I promise. What kind of legacy do you want to leave behind? The uptown address and the six-figure automobile with assigned parking? Or that you live a life of integrity? Sincerely, Calendar Girl. P.S. Never order the pork fried rice from George's.